Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel today. Today guys we're going to be doing a little bit of a different video today. No career mode videos today. Um, it is, well it's kind of related to career mode in a sense. Um, what I'm going to be doing today is a FIFA 20 related video. I know it's a bit early for this but I thought I'd get it um, done now. Uh, I was interested in doing this so I thought why not do it now. Um, a few months before FIFA 20 is out. Uh, and a few months before player ratings do come out, as you can tell by the title, it is going to be a Chelsea FC player ratings predictions. Now, these are just based off my opinions off the season. Uh, as a Chelsea fan, uh, obviously, um, it's based off my opinions on the games and players throughout the season. Some people will disagree, some people will agree. So let me know down in the comments if you agree or disagree with uh, some of these players uh, ratings and their stats obviously this is going to be based off all mid team cards um because obviously career mode's a bit difficult to um, pinpoint different stats and stuff like that so we're basically ratings in terms of what they're going to be starting off in fifa not just ultimate team in career mode as well um also if there's any other teams that you want me to do because uh, you like the video or you support a different team then please let me know in the comment section down below and i will try and get that done for you guys so before we get into the video and get started, please leave a like, comment and subscribe if you're new around here. We're nearly at 1k subs, uh, really, really eager to get there before FIFA 20 comes out. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to leave all my social media links, Twitter, Instagram and Twitch because I've been streaming a lot on Twitch recently, um, so drop me a follow down there. Anyway, the first player that is going to be is going to be Marcus Alonso. Now, as you can see, he is getting a minus one downgrade on his card for the next FIFA. This is purely because, uh, as a Chelsea fan, you know, Marcus Alonso was brilliant in under Conte, uh, playing in a defensive system, but playing in a more attacking system, he just didn't fit the system, in my opinion. He wasn't very good uh, in terms of passing. You know, he it seemed like he got slower this season. Um, just all round Alonso, he didn't really have a great season. Emerson started to push him out of the squad, uh, the starting lineup towards the end of the season. So overall, I'm going to drop him down one rating. He's going, he's going to have 70 pace, 75 dribbling, 70 shooting, 79 defending, 75 passing, and 77 physical. <clears throat> I just think that, um, yeah, he just didn't warrant an upgrade. And I think he, over the course of the season, he wasn't as his best, and he wasn't anywhere near as good as last year. So. Moving on to the next player, which is going to be Ethan Ampadu. Now, Ampadu is quite a strange one because he's been injured for quite a while, uh, especially this year, 2019. Um, but before that, he was playing Europa League games, he was playing FA Cup games, he was playing um, very, very little Premier League uh, action. So I think he did warrant a decent upgrade. I've bumped him up to a silver. Obviously, I couldn't find a silver card template, so I gave him a Future Stars um, card. Uh, and I bumped him up to uh, a 66 rated from a 63 bronze. Uh, bumped him up to 60 pace, 58 dribbling, 30 shooting, 64 defending, 61 passing, and 65 physical. Just because I think uh, he he did warrant uh, these upgrades in the early stages of the season. <clears throat> Obviously, like I said, he got injured and he hasn't really featured since then. Uh, but hopefully, he comes back from that. I think he was slowly starting to get back into it in like the development teams. And stuff like that, but yeah, I think he does deserve an upgrade uh, just because of the start of the season. Uh, and moving on to the next player, which is going to be As Biliqueta. Now, as much as I like As Biliqueta, I think he, after this season, I think he warrants a downgrade just because you know, obviously, his fifth card as a centre back, he played right back all season for us, and he's just not really a right back in my opinion. He's more of a centre back. Um, he, he was quite slow this season. Um, you know, he did make some great challenges, like defensive work was alright most of the time, but I think in terms of his attacking, his attacking ability let him down um, this season in terms of like crossing, his crossing this season was not great, um, and just, I just think he, he, he won't, he either will stay at 86 or he'll go down, but for me, I think he'll go down to an 85, um, I've dropped his stats down a bit to 74 pace, 72 dribbling, 55 shooting, 85 defending, 78 phys, uh, 78 passing, sorry, and 76 physical. Just because I think his season is same as Alonso. Really, he didn't really improve, and he didn't really get. He wasn't even the same as last year. So for me, Asbolaqueta goes down one rating. 
Moving on to someone that is quite controversial in uh, the Chelsea fan base, Ross Barkley. Now, some people are probably going to be a bit like, oh, why have you upgraded him? Now, I personally really like Ross Barkley, and I think he's played really, really well under Maurizio Sarri, who is probably on his way out as I'm recording this video, uh, going off to Juventus. But I think Barkley warranted a one upgrade uh, throughout the season, staying it as a non-rare and ultimate team. Um, I've gone given uh, an 80 rating with 70 pass, uh, 70 pace, 83 dribbling, 73 shooting, 54 defending, 80 passing, 75 physical. Barkley is one of those players, you know, he's quite. Um, uh, he's quite simple in the way he, he plays, but I think uh, he has warranted a upgrade, and that is what I'm giving him. Moving on, Christensen, another one kind of like Barkley. You know, people are kind of quick to jump on the bandwagon when he does something wrong, um, but when you look at the Europa League final, he was probably one of the best players uh, on the pitch, uh, and I think over the season he has developed under Sari. Even though his game time's not as good, uh, I still think he warrants a one upgrade. Uh, I've gone to an 83 obviously, um, 70 pace, 70 dribbling, 31 shooting, 84 defending, 66 passing and 72 physical. Um, I just think he's had an alright season with under Sari. I know like I said he hasn't played much at action but especially in the, for our Europa League um, journey he did play very well. And that is why I'm going to be giving him a 1 plus upgrade. Moving on to Emerson, now one of the more... Um, worthy upgrades as you may say uh, Emerson he's gone from a 76 to a 79 uh, and I've made him a rare as well because I think he's really improved under Sari. I think Sari's like tactics and the way he plays football um, is perfect for Emerson bombing up the pitch overlapping the left wing well Hazard was but not anymore um, so I've decided to give him a plus 3 overall uh, 79 rated 80 pace 79 dribbling 60 shooting 70 defending 68 passing and 65 physical he's had a really really good season obviously he's breaking through towards the end of um, this season and I think he he he's one of the main people that deserve a big upgrade um, to his card and to his um, player in FIFA next year so moving on we go to Olivier Giroud now he's the first one that is staying at the same rating potentially he may drop but because he was the Europa League's top goal scorer this season I don't think he'll drop um, I've bumped him up a little bit of pace even though he's getting older because this season I think the way that Sarri plays his team um, I think it, it kind of like makes him play a bit quicker and stuff like that uh, that's why I've bumped his passing up as well and his physical because he was doing really well at holding the ball up this year even though like I said like with Christensen his lack of uh, game time didn't really help but I think that's why he's going to stay the same rating in my opinion moving on to Callum Hudson-Odoi now this is quite controversial as in because it is a plus seven upgrade but because of the breakthrough season it's kind of like Rashford in the sense when he had his breakthrough season from the youth academy I do think he warrants at least getting a gold card and I'm giving him the basic basic of basic gold card 75 rated from a 68 silver purely because he has improved massively under Sari, and I think he does deserve this big upgrade um and hopefully he stays at Chelsea, signs a new deal, and uh, continues his good form. Unfortunately, obviously, he got that bad injury, um, but I've bumped him up to a 75-rated gold, 85 pace, 76 dribbling, 65 shooting, 30 defending, 70 passing, 65 physical. And, yeah, really, really deserves it. Obviously, that injury didn't really help towards the end of the season, but only good things to come from hudson Adoy, in my opinion, and that's why I've given him a big upgrade. So I think that's the biggest one of the episode. So, yeah, moving on to Jorginho. Again with Ross Barkley, he is quite controversial in terms of players at Chelsea. Most of the Chelsea fans hate him. Most of the, those fans are the ones that have got Sarri uh, essentially sacked. Well, he's not getting sacked, but they basically push Sarri out the door. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Jorginho follows him, to be honest. Um, but I've bumped him up to an 85 rated just because he is so underrated. And people that aren't a Chelsea fan or aren't a like, Sarri out fan will not really see where I, I've given him this upgrade um, but he runs our team I think he should be captain next season that's how much I rate him um, in terms of the way he flows the play he moves players he commands it his passing is good obviously he's got zero assists but people are saying that but he's not really an assist player and you see the highlight reel it's like a six minute highlight reel of uh, chances which Jorginho has assisted but players couldn't finish it one-on-one -on -one and stuff like that so I bumped him up to an 85 
72 pace, 83 dribbling, 64 shooting, 70 defending, 87 passing, and 73 physical for Jorginho. Moving on to N'Golo Kante. Now, I'm not sure if people will be disheartened about this one, but I think Kante will stay the same rated. Um, he'll get a few stat upgrades, but in my opinion, Kante's had a really good season converting into a centre mid. Obviously from a CDM role, which everyone's moaning about, or Kante's on the wrong position, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I think he'll stay the same with 84 pace, 83 dribbling, 70 shooting, 83 defending, 80 passing, and 85 physical. Just because I think he he's really good, but I don't think he's had a season like he did at Leicester, where he probably could get to a 90 rated. But uh, nevertheless, Kante is one of the best players we've got, if not the best. Um, so 89 rated is not a bad reflection on him. He's going to keep the same rating for the next FIFA, in my opinion. Moving on, Kepa. Now, Obviously, this 84 rated uh, got upgraded in the January upgrades, uh, or winter upgrades, sorry, and uh, I think he'll get upgraded straight away to an 85. Kepa has been really, really good for Chelsea, very consistent, in my opinion. Uh, again, there's a few fans that don't really rate him, uh, opposite fans, not Chelsea fans, maybe a few Chelsea fans, but... I think after since that Carabao Cup incident, he's really turned it around, saved us in the semi-final against Frankfurt, and um, yeah, I think he does deserve this upgrade, uh, just because of the first season of the Premier League has been exceptional, obviously you've got the likes of Edison and uh, Alisson ahead of him, in terms of like the standings for goalkeepers, but to come around that area in your first season is really, really good, so I've gone for 85 rated 85 diving, 87 reflexes, 82 handling, 34 speed, 80 kicking and 82 position for Kepa. Really well deserved upgrade in my opinion. Uh, and we move on to another one who is deserved, deserving of a very good upgrade. Ruben off this cheek, same as hudson Adoy, But it's a bit different because Ruben has had to wait a very, very long time to get his Chelsea breakthrough in terms of actually staying and playing. And finally this season was it, unfortunately, like hudson Adoy. He's got an injury which is going to keep him out for a long time, but I'm going to bump him up four overall ratings from a 77 to an 81 rare gold. 74 pace, 82 dribbling, 68 shooting, 61 defending, 77 passing and 80 physical. Just he was immense for us this season. He, his attacking power, his like quick speed and strength um, over the season. He scored uh, double digits I think for the first time in a Chelsea shirt this season for him. Uh, and he really does deserve a good upgrade in uh, FIFA for next year. So that's Loftus-Cheek. Moving on to David Luiz. Now, this could be another kind of Ross Barkley, Christensen type of player. Um, in my opinion, David Luiz was really, really good for us this season. There were quite a few games where maybe his long-range pass into Pedro or something like that just didn't really work. Or he's too slow on the ball and he's just too careless. But... I think overall is the whole season. I think he deserves at least one upgrade back to an 84. Um, just because of his, you know, he he understands Sari ball, if you want to call it that. Um, the f quick passing. Uh, and he, he's very, he's kind of like a Jorginho in a sense where he's demanding players and stuff like that. Um, so I think, based off that, I think he does deserve one upgrade to an 84 with 65 pace, 74 dribbling, 66 shooting, 83 defending, 76 passing and 79 physical. Um Another one that does deserve a small upgrade uh, for next season. Uh, moving on to Pedro. I've kept him the same just because I think that he's had a good season for us. He's a bit inconsistent uh, for Chelsea, but I think he deserves to stay as an 82. I've dropped his stats down a fair bit uh, for some parts um, just because he's aging a little bit. And you can tell that he's slowing down a little bit. Uh, so I've given him 74 pace. I've lowered that down. 85 dribbling. I've bumped it up a couple of uh, uh, numbers there. Because um, I I've noticed a lot. Pedro's really, really good at dribbling. Then he kind of stops. You know, he kind of stops when he gets towards the edge of the box, you know. Uh, but yeah, anyway, moving on. 75 shooting, 43 defending, 75 passing, and 54 physical for Pedro. Like I said, probably didn't warrant a downgrade, so I've kept him at the same. Because uh, obviously, in my opinion, he didn't really deserve an upgrade either. So, moving on to the new signing uh, for Chelsea, Christian Pulisic. Now, obviously, being a Chelsea fan, I didn't really watch much of Dortmund last year, so I couldn't really justify um, his thing. But because he's got a move to Chelsea, obviously a big club in England... And I, I just think that they EA might just bump him up one rating because why not, you know? Because he's moving to a new club in the Premier League. 
and they're just going to bump them up one. I don't really know. I couldn't really give much, so I just I could have just kept them the same, but I thought, why not give them that 1 plus to an 80 rated? So we've gone with 92 pace, 85 dribbling, 70 shooting, 36 defending, 71 passing, and 58 physical, because he's not exactly a big lad, Christian Pulisic, so he's quite weak. But that's what I've done for Pulisic. We move on to Rudiger. Now, he has definitely deserved at least this two upgrade, in my opinion. Um, he's been really, really solid for us. Obviously, he's had a few injury problems with his knee um, towards the end of the season, which didn't really help, uh, kept him out of the Europa League final. Um, but it didn't stop him partying, though, at the end of the game. Um, but I've given him an 83 rated from an 81, 75 pace, 63 dribbling, 40 shooting, 84 defending, 68 passing, and 80 physical for Rudiger, with a 2-plus overall upgrade. And moving on to one of the last players now, Willian. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to give him a downgrade to 83, just because th this season, people like Willy Bolly, uh, Lewis Dunk, I think, uh, Shane Duffy, they, their centre-backs playing for relegation battle teams, and they all scored more goals than Willian this season. That just sums it up, in my opinion. I don't need to say anything more about Willian, so 83 rated, 87 pace, 86 dribbling, 76 shooting, 49 defending, 79 passing, 60 physical, with a minus one overall downgrade for Willian. And moving on to the final player, unfortunately, I've given him a minus two downgrade. Even though I do love Zabba Costa, I think he's a great person to have around. But because of the lack of game time, he hardly played the season. I don't think he played more than like 10 games overall. Um, so I, unfortunately, I'm going to have to give him a downgrade to a 77, just because I think that's what FIFA will probably do. Um, as much as I like him. And I actually think he's a good player, but, you know, with the transfer ban, maybe he actually might start next season at right back because Rhys James is now injured for, like, three or four months. Anyway, 76 pace, 74 dribbling, 64 shooting, 75 defending, 70 passing, and 70 physical for Zappa Costa. And that concludes my Chelsea FIFA 20 player prediction ratings. Let me know down in the comment section below if you made it to the end of the video, if you agree or disagree with any of the player ratings that I have shown from my opinions and any other teams that you want me to try and do for the future and if you like the video let me know in the comments or by leaving a like subscribe if you're new around here and i'll see you guys in the next video peace